What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I am back with another video and first of all, Happy New Year's to everyone that's making it back over here. Number two, if you are a new viewer, you should know that I do unboxings of anime stuff, you know, just figures, statues, whatever you think of, I usually unbox right here. So if you are new, welcome. Uh, I am very excited uh, because number one, this is the first figure unboxing and first bunny figure unboxing that we're doing this year. So that's uh, one of the reasons why I'm very excited. Number two, I've been looking forward to this bunny figure for a while now. Ever since I saw, you know, the pictures that it was dropping, I had to pre-order it. It may not be one of the most uh, popular characters out there. It is a character from the anime called Gias, and I'll give you guys a hint, um, but you guys will see in a little bit. If you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, I don't want to keep you guys waiting, so let's get to unboxing. All right, you guys, so now we get to unbox this figure for you guys. It will be a short video, obviously, because, you know, it's only one figure. It's only one box, but it is a bunny figure, and you guys know how much we love bunny figures out here. As you guys can see in the background, uh, like I said, if you are a new viewer, we do collect uh, a lot of figures, statues. It may not be that much compared to, you know, other uh, content creators and stuff. Okay, so I forgot to show you guys. I usually show you guys the, the Ami Ami cards that I do collect from time to time when I get orders from Ami Ami. This is a collaboration between Ami Ami and uh, Mega House. And like I said, this is not one of the most popular uh, characters out there for that anime, which is Code Geass. More precisely, it was a uh, rebellion of Lelouch or something like that. There we go. First unboxing of the year. And it not be a very popular character, like I said, guys, but it is Villetta Nu. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. When I first saw this uh, figure, I thought this is probably one of, if not the sexiest bunny figures out there for sure. Because like I said, this is a collab. Uh, between Mega House and Freeing and uh, Freeing is not known to do like I guess like the most outrageous bunny suits out there So I would assume that Mega House had a lot of influence in that in creating this one since this is a very revealing um, Bunny suit. I don't even know if this uh, constitutes as a bunny suit at this point and that is the box right there guys if in case you guys can't see it It is very much like the C2 box except C2 was a little bit more wider than taller. So this one, uh, she is on her two feet. So this is why it is taller. Valletta, I would say um, almost no one really cares about Valletta as a character because, you know, I don't really see a lot of uh, figures for Valletta, but uh, number one, she is very uh, a sexy figure. So I would think a lot of people pre-order this. If not, maybe a lot of uh, hardcore Kogias fans order these. Aside from that, I don't see why other people would uh, order this because uh, bunny figures are very expensive. Here we are, the bases right here. And this is more of a Comey base. Yeah, I think Comey had her base like this one, which is kind of like black transparent. I'm trying to get my fingerprints on it. I think we got it. Okay. <laughs> I think we got it guys. Uh, this is the first for me where Freeing collabs with a different company to make a bunny figure. So uh, this whole experience is a little bit new for me. I will say the whip part was a little bit more difficult than I thought would be. I thought, you know, it would come maybe like in one piece and you kind of just have to work around the, the hands to kind of connect it, but um, I guess it did not. So that's one of the things that maybe I would have to complain about. Other than that, the figure looks fantastic. <laughs> Like I said, this may not be a very popular character out there for sure, especially in Code Geass, because there was like at least three, four girls that a lot of people would prefer uh, before uh, Valletta. She is rocking uh, what I thought would be more of like a corset as a bunny suit instead, uh, but it is more like a lingerie. So that's like one of the reasons why I kind of like, I don't know, I just kind of fell in love with this character. Uh, bunny suit or I mean is it even a suit at this point I would just say uh, lingerie lingerie is black uh, stockings are black bunny tail is white she does have the long sleeve gloves which is pretty cool they do have the black accent on the on the sides right here she does have the earrings pearls maybe she does have like the sky blue hair 
some shading. I am seeing some sort of like paint effect in the back of her hair. Uh, bunny ears, they are a little bit more uh, wider than some of the bunny ears that I'm used to seeing. Let me know what you guys think of the bunny ears. And she does have the whip, uh, which is very, uh, not very seen in a lot of the bunny suits. Obviously, I don't know if you guys have bunny suits or if you guys can see my collection, but not a lot of them have a lot of like props to them. And um, that is one of the reasons why I like this figure too, because some of the bunny figures or most of the bunny figures, they're just, you know, doing like hand signs or like, you know, having a sexy pose. This one has a sexy pose, has uh, the whip in her hand. So what else can I say? What, what else could we want? You know, you can see her tummy right there. This is a very sexy figure, guys. If you guys are, are fans of Code Geass, I would definitely advise you guys to get it. But that is pretty much it guys, if you guys like this video make sure to like and subscribe and yeah, take care guys.